Seven tactics to destroy a narcissist in court and make him die and rot in prison. Deciding whether to stand with a narcissist in a courtroom can be a pivotal and challenging decision. Exposing a narcissist is a daunting task, as it requires surpassing their adeptness in convincing and persuading others of their innocence. It's vital to recognize that they will consistently attempt to shift blame onto you, portraying you as the sole cause of all problems. They will endeavor to convince others that they were blameless and your arrival in their life was the catalyst for destruction. Despite the common belief that narcissists are easily spotted, the reality can be quite different. To unmask a narcissist in a courtroom, it may require a determined victim, a skilled attorney, and a narcissist vulnerable in some way. Keep in mind that legal proceedings can be deeply personal and invasive, making it possible to effectively confront a narcissist in a legal setting. So, take a moment to relax and grab a drink. This video will explore various strategies for prevailing against a narcissist in court. First and foremost, maintain your silence in court regarding anything the narcissist utters. Even the most composed individuals may find it challenging to keep their cool when faced with absurd claims or false allegations. It is highly advisable to remain composed and refrain from reacting emotionally to the narcissist's explicit statements. Legal professionals, including attorneys, stress the importance of demonstrating emotional control to both the judge and the jury. Any emotional outbursts on your part could lead the jury to mistakenly view you as the narcissist. To deconstruct a narcissist's facade in court, it's essential to display an openness to criticism and an awareness of your own imperfections. Conversely, appealing entirely emotionless is not appealing either. Striking a balance is crucial. Typically, the victim's attorneys will guide and prepare you to maintain your composure throughout the proceedings while judiciously expressing your distress at having to endure such hardship. They understand that the jury will evaluate both parties' responses to discern who the true narcissist is. Narcissists may struggle with controlling their emotions and may have outbursts when confronted with challenging situations. The victim's attorneys aim to provoke such narcissistic rage to convince the jury that you are, indeed, the genuine victim in the case. Number two, consider requesting that the attorneys pose incisive questions. Narcissists are highly averse to being portrayed as anything less than flawless. Attorneys can master the art of effectively challenging narcissists in the courtroom by crafting relevant interrogations tailored to these individuals. Such inquiries could include the following. Can the narcissistic party demonstrate empathy towards their children? Alternatively, they might inquire, is it accurate that you haven't communicated with your children in three months? These deliberately provocative questions are aimed at agitating and highlighting the narcissist's behavior. Often, attorneys handling divorce cases recognize that employing such queries is a strategic approach to confront a narcissist in court. They choose to pose questions centered on the children to incite narcissistic anger. Their goal is to ask questions that counter or deviate from the narcissist's initial statements or the accounts provided by other witnesses. To debunk a narcissist's facade in court, it's essential to reveal their imperfections. Attorneys work diligently to persuade the judge and jury that the situation at hand is a product of the narcissist's own behavior, with the defendant being the true victim. Furthermore, they aim to illustrate to any children present how the narcissist's conduct has negatively impacted their lives. The attorneys are vigilant for any hostile behavior, as they understand that the jury requires concrete evidence to establish the presence of a narcissist. While gathering proof can be challenging, accurate depositions are indispensable, and difficulties encountered along the way may further bolster the case. Thirdly, maintain a detailed written record of everything. 
when it comes to guiding attorneys on how to successfully navigate a legal battle against a narcissist, evidence and documentation prove invaluable. Attorneys rely on texts, emails and any written correspondences directed to the victim. They also seek documentation related to any instances of verbal or physical abuse. Furthermore, they are keen on identifying signs of manipulation and instances of gaslighting. Sometimes, the narcissist may attempt to communicate with the defendant outside of the courtroom, and attorneys stress the importance of documenting any such interactions. Phone call recording is another crucial aspect. There are instances when the victim records phone conversations, unbeknownst to the narcissist who may engage in threats or verbal abuse. They are unaware of the potential consequences. Attorneys are vigilant for any form of negative communication that could shed light on the narcissist's behavior. They also emphasize the importance of witness statements. It is essential to document the accounts of at least one individual who has witnessed or heard the victim's abuse, as this testimony is often available. Another valuable tip for prevailing against a narcissist in court is to document all attempts at contact made by their friends or acquaintances. Sometimes, the narcissist may try to communicate indirectly through a third party. In such cases, attorneys will request the name and affiliation of the narcissist to conduct a more thorough investigation. Additionally, if you've gained new insights today, I encourage you to subscribe. Fourth, engage family members or associates who have witnessed the abuse. As mentioned earlier in the video, attorneys greatly value external witnesses. They understand that, in most cases, at least one person has observed or heard the abuse taking place. Whether these witnesses saw gaslighting, overheard phone conversations, or noticed physical markings on the victim, their testimonies hold significant importance in a trial. Attorneys seek the participation of individuals who possess any form of documentation, such as photographs, text messages, or physical evidence exchanged between the narcissist and the victim. A substantial body of evidence of this nature can occasionally lead to a favorable outcome for the victim. The fact that narcissists may remain unaware of others being privy to their mistreatment is a tactic for dismantling their facade in court, involving third parties to disrupt their narrative. Typically, narcissists dislike external interference and seek to keep their extramarital affairs covered. Therefore, they often maintain the stance that the situation solely involves themselves and the victim. This approach can unnerve the narcissist and reveal their vulnerabilities. Fifth, utilize the silent treatment. Narcissists thrive on attention and loathe being ignored, neglected, or made to feel unloved. Hence, the most effective method to undermine a narcissist in court is by employing the silent treatment. This approach is highly potent because they frequently use it on others but cannot bear it when it is directed at them. It piques their curiosity about your thoughts, whether you are still thinking about them, whether you love them, and whether you share these thoughts with others. Disregarding their theatrix can lead to emotional distress and narcissistic rage. Placing the narcissist in the position they once placed the victim in may assist the attorneys in unraveling their true character. They are unaccustomed to losing control, and the silent treatment deprives them of the attention they crave, potentially leading to outbursts. In court, the narcissist may confront the victim, shouting, If only you had heeded my advice and refrained from behaving as I warned you not to, this situation would have been avoided. This behavior illustrates the narcissist's typical control over the relationship and validates the victim's claims. Sixth, convey to the court your resolute stance against harassment. Narcissists detest feeling inferior in comparison to others and harbor disdain for those who do not defer to them. As the victim, 
You can demonstrate your firm resolve to end the narcissist's influence both in and outside the courtroom. Narcissists become infuriated when they sense a loss of control over a situation, and losing their partner's submission in front of an audience can severely dent their self-esteem and composure. When they see you gaining confidence and autonomy, they experience a blow to their own confidence. Their sense of superiority relies on your submission. The judge and jury will notice a shift in the narcissist's behavior when you assert your authority and exhibit resistance. This change may manifest as them becoming reticent, overly talkative, or displaying an inconsistent tone of voice. Attorneys aim to equip you with the knowledge of how to effectively confront a narcissist in court, emphasizing appropriate body language, tone of voice, and responses. Seventh, seek guidance from a therapist before your trial. Consulting with a clinician before the trial and discussing the developments in your relationship can significantly aid in countering a narcissist in court. Therapists can offer precise and impartial assessments of the dynamics at home. They can inform the court whether the individual in question is genuinely a victim of narcissism and whether they exhibit signs of chronic abuse. This can significantly strengthen the victim's legal case against the narcissist, as the narcissist may be greatly caught off guard if they didn't anticipate the victim seeking professional advice. When an expert witness informs the judge and jurors of their professional evaluation of the narcissist and their potential detrimental impact on the victim's life, it can be a valuable asset to the attorneys in establishing the narcissist's malevolent character. Also, if you found this video helpful, consider watching related videos for more information. Don't forget to leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we'll respond to your comment personally.